From here, about an hour away, we visited Bethlehem. Specifically, we made a stop at the Church of Nativity. Entering the Church of Nativity in Bethlehem is an experience that requires reverence, starting with the act of stooping low. The only doorway into the fortress-like front wall, known as the Door of Humility, stands just 1.2 meters, or 3.9 feet high. This entrance was lowered during the Ottoman period to prevent people from riding into the church on horseback, making it fitting for visitors to bow as they enter the place where it is believed that God humbled himself to become man. Today's basilica, the oldest complete church in the Christian world, was built by Emperor Justinian in the 6th century. It replaced the original church of Constantine the Great, constructed over the cave venerated as Christ's birthplace and dedicated in 339 AD. Before Constantine, the Romans attempted to erase the memory of the cave by planting a grove dedicated to the pagan god Adonis and establishing his cult there. Though the Gospels do not specify that Jesus was born in a cave, Written references to the Nativity Cave date back to 160 AD. When the original church of Nativity was built, the cave was enlarged to accommodate pilgrims. In 614, Persians invaded and destroyed many churches, but they spared the Church of the Nativity. A legend attributes this to their commander being moved by a mosaic depicting the three wise men in Persian dress. In any case, this church being spared is one of the reasons why it is considered the oldest complete church in the Christian world. Today, the Church of the Nativity is cool and wide open, with its interior devoid of seating, allowing visitors to fully appreciate the atmosphere. The restored 12th century wall mosaics, depicting saints, angels, and church councils, have regained their original luster. Trap doors in the floor reveal glimpses of the 4th century mosaic floor from Constantine's Basilica, rediscovered in 1934. These intricate mosaics featuring detailed geometric shapes showcase the craftsmanship of the ancient artisans. The Church of the Nativity consists of 50 Corinthian columns that are made of red limestone that were quarried locally. These were likely remnants from the original structure. Later, around the 12th century, they were adorned with crusader paintings of saints and prophets. Steps to the right of the iconostasis a carved screen in front of the main altar lead down to the Grotto of the Nativity. This grotto is now predominantly a Greek Orthodox place of worship, with the Armenian Orthodox owning the northern transept, and Catholics holding the site of the manger and the adjoining altar next to the Nativity Grotto. According to the status quo agreement from 1852, these three denominations share the Church of the Nativity. While well, Western Christians celebrate Christ's birthday on December 25th, according to the Gregorian calendar, the church at his birthplace waits 13 more days for the Orthodox celebration on January 7th, which follows the Julian calendar. The televised Christmas Eve service on December 24th originates from the adjoining Church of the St. Catherine of Alexandria, which is Catholic. In the grotto, the place of Christ's birth is a dimly lit rock cave. There is a 14-point silver star on the marble floor of the Grotto of the Nativity, which bears a Latin inscription that says, Here Jesus Christ was born to the Virgin Mary. The 14 points of the star are said to represent the 14 generations of Jesus Christ from Abraham to David, then from David to the Babylonian captivity, and from the Babylonian captivity to Jesus Christ. In the same area, at a slightly lower level, is the Grotto of the Manger, where the rock shelf is covered with marble. A small altar in the Grotto of the Manger is dedicated to the adoration of the Magi, the three wise men described in Matthew's Gospel as coming from the east to worship the newborn Jesus. Also associated with the Church of Nativity is St. Jerome, who lived nearby in a small cave called Jerome's Grotto. St. Jerome devoted three decades of his life to translating the Hebrew and Greek Bibles into Latin. This Bible version is known as the Vulgate and was used by Catholics until the 20th century. The cave is accessed from the Church of St. Catherine of Alexandria next to the Church of Nativity. Also, in the church's courtyard, St. Jerome is commemorated. 